Hello, my name is Vipul and in this video, we are going to talk about transaction control transformation. So what is a transaction control transformation? It's a transformation in which we try to do the commit and rollback while the loading is in progress. When once we fetch the records from the source system and while it is getting loaded, if we want to put a commit based upon some condition, that's when we use transaction control transformation. It is specially used at the time when there are huge volumes of data that goes in a table and we want to uh, put a commit after let's say certain number of rows or we want to put a commit based upon some condition where we say for example please commit once the department ID is equal to 20 transformation. Now let us try to quickly make this transformation and see how it works. First of all, let's uh, go in the database and try to clear our target table. This is our target table, VM target. Let's clear all the records from here. And once we do this, then let's make a new mapping. I've already created a mapping here, M department underscore transact. And uh, uh, next what we should do as usual, uh, pull the source table and resize it so the things are clearly visible and now straight away simply we can just create this transformation go on create and select the transaction control we must enter a name here saying trn underscore m department underscore transact so once we create We are going to pull all the records, all the columns of this uh, source qualifier into this transformation. Next, we have to go in the properties and now set exactly the condition for the uh, particular transaction to happen. Whether we want the records to get committed, whether we want to get it rolled back, whatever kind of transaction we want, we will write that condition here. So. Let's say we have a table department where we have, or let's say we have another table employee where we have this column department. Now, when we have, when we want to uh, insert the data into the target table, that is VM target, we want to commit the uh, transactions whenever there is a department number 20. So, in that case, what we will do, we will just mention a condition here. We will mention the if statement, if function. So when from the uh, functions, we will select if and here we will write, uh, we will give the port name that is department number equals to 20. Then what it must do, TC commit before else tc continue transaction now what it is saying that if for a particular record you find that department number is 20 then please commit that otherwise please continue so these are the uh, you know some of the transactions uh, the 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 actual uh, parameters that we give, we, we just say that uh, whether you want to commit or you want to continue as it is or you want to roll back. So these are some of those uh, commands TC commit before, TC commit after, TC roll back before, TC roll back after and then TC continue transaction. Let's try to validate, it works well and we let this condition be there, we try to save this mapping. Next, we go in a workflow manager. Let's connect to the repository. And let us create a new workflow here. Then we create a new session task, sys underscore and department 
transaction that's it finally we select that particular mapping that we just created and we give it a sequence to run so we connect this and we then as usual go in mappings give the connection parameters here for the target we choose target for the source we choose source save it and finally execute the workflow So this is the status it is showing. And the task has succeeded finally. Let's go in the database and check if the data has uh, already come. Yes, as we see here, the data has come in the target table. It has been committing the data every time it was able to find the, uh, the row as uh, the department number as 20. So at each of those intervals, the committed had happened inside the database. That's how this transaction control uh, transformation works. Thank you.